Oh, it's okay. All right, so for number 16, guys, let's get this done really quickly. First thing is they actually, number 16, I wrote this incorrectly, they have these little arrows, right? Malik, do you remember what those arrows tell us? Yeah. What do those tell us? They, well, the arrows tell us what about those lines? They're parallel. They're parallel, right? Yeah, they're parallel, right? They're parallel, meaning they're never going to intersect. And there's something very, very important about when we have parallel lines because... Then, then the next thing we need to, all right, so we have lines, they're parallel, and we have a transversal that's intersecting, creating these two angles. These two angles are interior or exterior, Raffaella? Interior or exterior, these two angles? Exterior. And are they on the same side of the transversal or opposite sides of the transversal? Or, I'm sorry, alternating sides of the transversal? Alternating. alternating. So you can call them? Alternate exterior. Alternate exterior. Very good. Now. Here's what's special about alternate exterior. When we have alternate exterior, when we have a transversal intersecting parallel lines, how are alternate exterior angles related? Sierra. They equal each other. Very good. If you guys don't remember that, they equal each other. So therefore, we can say 47 degrees is equal to that angle that's a question mark. So therefore, you can say this is 47 degrees. Okay, so one thing I would recommend, guys, if you didn't already do this, on page one, 